Greetings friends. In this message, as in all my messages, I wish to be as clear as possible. Nevertheless, due to the complexities, and the depth of this message, it will very likely, require most, if not all, to listen many times. As you will most certainly recognize, this message is not one of earthling origin. It is in fact from others who wish only for the best, in regards to our new galactic reference, earthlings. He or she, who translated and transmitted this message, is irrelevant. What you do with it, is what matters. As you listen, please keep in mind, that human is humanoid. This label, slash distraction, is meant to separate, propagating the false impression that those on this planet, are the only humans in this universe. We are not. In fact, we are some of the youngest among them. Those of you who know me and follow my channels, will most likely be the greatest benefactors of this message. I ask you, please, to not keep it to yourself, but share it, so that others will have the choice, to accept or reject its content, as well as its intent. This translation is as close to the original intent as I am capable with the limitation of our verbal communication. The message is as follows. Each one of you, wishes to exercise your free will, and experience happiness. These are attributes that were shown to us and to which we now have access. Your field, slash, aura, depends upon the knowledge you have of your own power. Your happiness, slash well-being, depends upon the love that you give and receive. Like all conscious races at this stage of progress, you may feel isolated on your planet. This impression makes you sure of your destiny. Yet, you are at the brink of big upheavals that only a minority is aware of. It is not our responsibility, to modify your future, without you choosing it. Consider this message as a worldwide referendum, and your answer as a ballet. Who are we? Neither your scientists nor your religious representatives speak unanimously about the unexplained celestial events that mankind has witnessed for thousands of years. To know the truth, one must face it, without the filter of one's beliefs. I repeat, without the filter of one's beliefs, however respectable they may be. A growing number of your anonymous researchers, are exploring new knowledge paths, and are getting very close to reality. Today, your civilization is flooded with a notion of information, of which only a tiny part, the less upsetting one, is notably diffused. What in your history seemed ridiculous, or improbable, has often become possible, then, realized, in particular in the last fifty years. Be aware that the future will be even more surprising. You will discover the worst as well as the best. Like billions of others in this galaxy, we are conscious creatures, that some of you name extraterrestrials even though the reality, is subtler. Let me be clear. There is no fundamental difference, between you and us, save for the experience of certain stages of evolution. Like in another organized structure, hierarchy exists in our internal relationships. Ours is based upon the wisdom of several races. It is with the approval of this hierarchy that we turn to you. Like most of you, we too, are in the quest of the Supreme Being. Therefore we are not gods, or lesser gods, but virtually your equals, in the Cosmic Brotherhood. Physically, we are somewhat different from you, but for most of us, humanoid shaped. Our existence, is a reality. But the majority of you do not perceive it yet. We are not mere observations, we are consciences, 
just like you. You fail to comprehend us, because we remain invisible to your senses, and measure instruments, most of the time. We wish to fill this void at this moment in your history. We made this collective decision, but this is not enough. We need yours. Through this message, you become the decision makers. You personally. We have no human representative on earth, who could guide your decision. Why aren't we visible? At certain stages of evolution, cosmic humanities discover new forms of science beyond the apparent control of matter. Structured dematerialization and materialization are part of them. This is what your humanity has reached in a few laboratories, in close collaboration with other extraterrestrial creatures, at the cost of hazardous compromises that remain purposely hidden from you, by some of your representatives. Apart from the aerial or spatial objects, or phenomena known about by your scientific community, that you call UFOs. There are essentially multidimensional, manufactured spaceships, that apply these capacities. Many human beings have been in visual, or auditory tactile of psychic contact with such ships, some of which are under occult powers that govern you. The scarcity of your observations is due to the outstanding advantages provided by the dematerialized state of these ships. By not witnessing them by yourself, you cannot believe in their existence. We fully understand this. The majority of these observations are made on an individual basis so as to touch the soul, and not to modify any organized system. This is deliberate from the races that surround you, but for very different reasons and results. For negative multidimensional beings, that play a part in the exercise of power in the shadows of human oligarchy. Discretion is motivated by their will to keep their existence and seizure unknown. However, for us discretion is motivated by the respect of the human free will that people can exercise to manage their own affairs, so that they can reach technical, and spiritual maturity on their own. Humankind's entrance into the family of galactic civilizations, is greatly expected. We can, and will appear in broad daylight, and help you attain this union. We haven't done it so far, as too few of you have genuinely desired it because of ignorance, indifference, or fear, and because the emergency of the situation did not justify it. Many of those who study our appearances, count the lights in the night, without lighting the way. Often they think in terms of objects, when it is all about conscious beings. Who are you? You are the offspring of many traditions that throughout time have been mutually enriched by each other's contributions. The same applies to the races at the surface of the earth. Your goal is to unite in the respect of these roots, to accomplish a common project. The appearance of your cultures seems to keep you separated, because you substitute it to your deeper being. Shape is now more important than the essence of your subtle nature. For the powers in place, this prevalence of the shape constitutes the ramparts against any form of jeopardy. You are being called upon, to overcome shape, while still respecting it for its richness and beauty. Understanding the conscience of shape, makes us love mankind in their diversity. Peace does not mean not making war, it consists in becoming what you are in reality a same fraternity. To understand this, the number of solutions within your reach, are decreasing. One of them consists in consists in contact with another race that would reflect the image of what you are in reality. What is your situation? 
except for rare occasions, our interventions always had very little incidence on your capacity to make collective and individual decisions about your own future. This is motivated by our knowledge of your deep psychological mechanisms. We reached the conclusion, that freedom is built every day. As a being becomes aware of himself, and of his environment, getting progressively rid of constraints and inertias, whatever they may be. Despite the numerous, brave and willing human consciences, those inertias are artificially maintained for the profit of a growing centralizing power. Until recently, mankind lived a satisfying control of its decisions. But it is losing more and more the control of its own fate, because of the growing use of advanced technologies, which lethal consequences on the earthly and human ecosystems become irreversible. You are slowly but surely losing your extraordinary capacity to make life desirable. Your resilience will artificially decrease, independently of your own will. Such technologies exist that affect your body as well as your mind. Such plans are on their way. This can change, as long as you keep this creative power in you, even if it cohabits with the dark intentions of your potential lords. This is the reason why we remain invisible. This individual power, is doomed to vanish. Should a collective reaction of great magnitude not happen, the period to come, is that of rapture, whichever it may be. But should you wait for the last moment to find solutions? Should you anticipate or undergo pain? Your history has never ceased to be marked by encounters between peoples who had to discover one another, in conditions that were often conflictual. Conquests, almost always happened to the detriment of others. Earth has now become a village where everyone knows everyone else, but still conflicts persist and threats of all kinds get worse in duration and intensity. Although a human being is an individual, yet having many potential capacities, cannot exercise them with dignity. This is the case for the biggest majority of you, for reasons that are essentially geopolitical. There are several billion of you. The education of your children and your living conditions, as well as the conditions of numerous animals and much plant life, are nevertheless under the thumb of a small number of your political, financial, military and religious representatives. Your thoughts, and beliefs, are modeled after partisan interests, to turn you into slaves, while at the same time, giving you the feeling that you are in total control of your destiny, which in essence, is the reality. In closing, understand, please. There is a long way between a wish, and fact, when the true rules of the game at hand are unknown. This time, you are not conqueror. Understand, that biasing information, is a military strategy for human beings. Inducing thoughts, emotions, by way of your entertainment, media, religions etc., are all part of this strategy. Call upon the wisdom within you. And eliminate all such influences. Learn to respect your differences. So you may then respect the differences of those from elsewhere. Wish and ask for our assistance, showing you are ready. We will be grateful. And then, allow you to see us. For it is this very thing, we are waiting for. End of message.